This question is a lot more common than you'd think. I've gotten it all over the place. And the question is, what does a blind person experience on psychedelics? Whoa! Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I really have gotten this question a bunch. People are curious about, can blind people have hallucinations? Or maybe could blind people even see on psychedelic drugs? So here's the thing. I'm blind since birth, right? So I've never seen. Therefore, my mind doesn't know how to see. My brain doesn't know how to see. So, you know, a drug wouldn't be able to make me see. I mean, if it could, don't you think I'd take it every day? <laughs> people talk about different things that they see when they take these kinds of drugs you know they see different sort of hallucinations they see the walls breathe perhaps or they see trails coming off of things none of those things would work for me right it just wouldn't work it's sort of like dreaming right because I, I don't know how to see so therefore i couldn't dream that i could see right because again my brain doesn't know how to do that however I think that you could experience audible hallucinations. In other words, if you heard a soda machine, for example, or maybe a refrigerator or something like this with kind of a constant whir, that might sound to somebody like a crowd of people or who knows, your mind could play all sorts of tricks on you. <laughs> Sometimes if you stay up for a really long period of time, like all night or even longer, you know, they say people begin to hallucinate and they start to see things and hear things and like that. I've never really even had that, you know? I've like I've stayed up for a good long time, many times in my life, and I've never really had any of that kind of thing. I just get tired, you know what I mean? And tired and silly. I just get real punchy and just start, you know, saying crazy things and just being a general nut. I've even heard that people like when they're driving, like, you know, they start to see things on the road and stuff. Or driving for a really long time, you know, the, your mind starts to play tricks on you. I think if you do anything for a really long time, your mind is gonna start to play tricks on you. See, that's the coolest thing about sight. I mean, there's a lot of cool things about sight, right? You can see all kinds of things around you, but it blows my mind that you can see things that don't exist. You know? I wish I could hear things that didn't exist. <laughs> I do. Like that. Did you hear that? Nah, me neither. <laughs> I gotcha. See, I tricked you. I'm not sure if I've ever seen a movie that really showed me what this feeling was like. I, I suppose in Big Lebowski, right? There's parts of that where he's sort of going into a different place while they're playing that Kenny Rogers song. Like a lot of times when people are taking drugs in movies, they'll put a little bit of a reverb behind it or maybe some echo and add some other, add some other voices, voices like, you know, in both channels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They really don't focus on the audio hallucinations in motion pictures. They're more concerned with the visual ones. So there have been recordings, for example, Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon is an incredible, incredible piece of music. It really is. And it's so well produced, right? And there's all sorts of little effects in it. There's heartbeats in it. There's the, the bit like right before time with all the clocks and stuff and it gets real quiet and all you can hear is the ticking clocks. And then that one first, you know, and all the clocks are going off at once. And the wall is really good for that too from Pink Floyd. Those guys are into that. They're into creating these um, like audio illusions, you know, or, I suppose it's not really an audio illusion. They're more into putting you in a particular place, you know, having the music really come alive. So, you know, maybe listen to The Wall from Pink Floyd. I don't know. Don't take that stuff. Listen, you take that shit, you go blind, okay? <laughs> you know, I guess if you hallucinate, that's one better than Hallucin 7. Yeah, yeah, far out, man. Mathematical, man. Wow. <laughs> Later, we'll have pie for dessert. <laughs>